That is a great segue into our brackets, the 2023 Saints Happy Hour Bracket, a tradition like no other. Uh, dumbest Saint, uh, Thomas, put up the bracket and we'll discuss who didn't make it before we get to the matchups. I mean, this this bracket is all-time dumb as Saint, and it's tremendous. I, I like mean, the 80s Nintendo video game music. And by the way, if you're a patron, or or you can go to you can go to our Patreon page. We I had it free for everyone that you can listen, but you can only listen on our Patreon page. Me and Dave did a preview of it, and Dave made a great point. I was listening back to it today. Are there other teams in the NFL that could have a as deep? And as strong of a bracket of dumbest saint ever, could another team have a bracket this strong? Like the Giants, can they get a bracket of 16 people this strong? And Andrew, these are the people that didn't make it. Olin Krutz starting a brawl, almost punching Joe, uh, Drew Brees, breaking his jaw. Uh, Joe Horn and Willie Rofe's wife, that whole situation didn't make it. Russell Erksleben who kited checks, multiple pyramid schemes, went to jail, although he did it all after the Saints. Uh, he didn't make it. Uh, R- Kevin, this one I got from a Bud Rich's dad. Running back Mike Stray- Straycan being the cocaine dealer for half the Saints team in 1980, including Don Reese, Chuck Muncie, George Rogers, Frank Warren, and Dave Waymer. Uh, and by the way, People in the chat and do you think it helped them perform better or do you think in 1980 it did not because they went one in 15. (laughs) (laughs) And by the way, I guess that answers that. People in the people in the chat and people on Twitter were saying Darren Sharper. I made a judgment. Darren Sharper is not eligible for this because what he did is not funny. Like drugging and raping women, it's, it's not funny, and you can't make jokes about it, so he's not eligible. It's because it's not dumb. It's more like if we ever do like the evilest saint bracket, we'll just declare him the winner and move it along. Um, <laughs> way, way, to, r- way to ruin the fun for everyone, Dave. <laughs> so is there anybody, you look at this bracket, is there anybody that we should have put in that isn't here? And by the way, Thomas, Ooh. one more. We have a video clip of YouTube, that another one that Butteridge Dad sent me. This is Bobby Douglas on field. This was pretty dumb. Thomas, play that, play that YouTube clip. This. Wait for it. This is Bobby Douglas. Look at this, kids. If you're if you're on the live stream, look at him. He's just like da 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 dancing, uh, dancing, dancing with and the just, and then, <laughs> Where does he think he is? He just <laughs> he just he's five ten yards. Yeah, he ran five yards out of bounds out of the end zone. Just, I mean, why well, he just literally waved the white flag there? Yeah, yeah, and he wasn't even like sad about it. He's just like ah, got to take the safety. Like, you well, know, no, he's, he's like no. He's look, got now he's out of bounds. Right there. He's, he's still trying to make a move of a. He's trying yeah. to make a play. Just yeah, throw it at foot forty two's feet. He's like he's got, he's shit, got a blocking here. running back right there. Right the video here. ends too soon. Like you don't you don't see like he just keeps running into the locker room. So and for those of you that can't see, that for those of you that can't see, Bobby Douglas takes a snap at the one yard line and he rolls back to pass and he's got a running back blocking for him. So he could well, just blocking chuck, quotation marks. Yeah, 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 right. So he could just chuck it at the back's feet. <laughs> But instead, he just decides to give up and run out of the back of the end zone so he doesn't take a hit. And he just he just gives up a safety yeah. for free. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say he he backs like he's he's he aggressively he running tail and run away. He's trying to back up to find space and just doesn't has no spatial awareness <laughs> that I got. I got to say this video clip right here is grounds for making the tournament. I. You're having recency bias here, Ralph, because I think there's <laughs> things that happened in the 60s and 70s, 70s. that are Ralph way worse paid, than probably man. some of the Ralph stuff we're going to talk about. I mean, if Aaron Brooks did that, uh, he, we would have never heard the end of it. Well, right. I mean, Aaron, look, at Aaron Brooks is in the brackets. So. Well, I know, but, but you, better have, you better have video for that. Yeah. So, Kevin, is there anybody that dumb is saying, is there anybody that should have made this that didn't? Or are, are we are you are, is something popping in your head? Well, I was going to say Brandon Browner, but that falls in the same line as uh, Darren Sharper, I guess, huh? Yeah. I mean, he's in prison. And and are they eligible when they do thing, things after oh, they're sane, mm-hmm. right? Well, yeah. Brandon Browner, you could talk about the Lions yelling thing where he almost punched a reporter yeah. in the face. That's true. Oh, that's true. Man, that, that's strong. The, 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 the hardest omission for me. Kyle Turley? 
He was a hard one, because, but 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 the, but the helmet toss. I don't know that's that Saints not, fans view that dumb. I think no, I think a lot of Saints dumb. fans view that as awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. The hardest omission for me in the bracket was Kevin Hauser in the and the 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 the, the, the film credit scheme. Oh, is yeah. that re- is that really dumb though? I would say if anything, he, it was kind of smart. Like he got a yeah. bunch of like a- everyone that gave him money was dumb. <laughs> you know, so Drew, but Hauser was free. I mean, it was evil. It was like illegal, but I don't know that it was dumb. So, yeah, it's like Russell Erksleib and he ran two different pyramid schemes. He wasn't yeah. dumb. If the people yeah. that gave him money, right, were dumb. right. That butter is is, is like it, it worked until it didn't. He had like hundred. <laughs> he had like millions of dollars. You know? Famous last words. It worked yeah. until it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so let's get to let's get to the bracket. Uh, Thomas, let's start out with uh, matchup number one. Let's see who's bigger dummy. Junior Galette. First, I drain McPherson. <laughs> it's upsetting that Max can pronounce the names better than me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> mm-hmm. sure. One take. One take, Until, Max. Uh, those were easier ones. I want to hear what he says when he gets to the guy, the P and get in Harahan guys. Oh man! Oh man! Don't spoil it, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah. So, so I mean, with, he's with Junior Gallet, okay. there's there's so many things to pick from. Like, what 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 do we even go with as the you know the the top of the mountain here for, well, ju- that's, for junior galette for junior, well, wait, yeah. well wait a minute let's back let's i, would I say mean there, there's what's the, the deal belt, with adrian? there's there's cut the check mickey there's, i know I mean, why is adrian mcpherson on here because he got run over by a because because he lined up under left guard to take a snap and he got run over by a golf cart and he got run off yeah there was being driven by a mascot right that's right he got he nearly got murdered by the by the Tennessee Titan. Well, mascot. is was that was that his fault or is that the drunk Tennessee Titan's I mean, fault? You know, you gotta so you gotta have I'm your not... head on a swivel, Dave, when you're on the field. <laughs> I mean, I so, blame him. So that's why I don't know. That's why I don't know if that one's on him. Junior Gallette, but yes, Junior Gallette's got quite keep going, uh, Andrew. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah. What else has Junior Gallette done? Uh, oh, okay. So there was the on girl, there was the girl that he threw on the bed when he had like seven AK forty sevens. No, that on was the Greg bed. Hardy. No, that, Gallette had a thing like that too. Oh, like wow. Multiple weapons. Um, let's see. Uh, Gallette. Uh, Beach collage you, that you're famous for, Dave. Yeah, the belts, the belts, yeah, that's the, the belt. belt master. Well, well, wasn't there some locker room thing where he almost got in the fisticuffs with? Forget who it was. Oh yeah, that's a that's a famous Cat Terrell saving it for a rainy day. Yep. Right. Um, of course, there was the burner Twitter accounts airing all of Zach Streep's dirty laundry. Oh yeah. Um. You know, I mean, there was just multiple, and then giving giving then this week giving Zion, uh, Lady of the Night advice. <laughs> so, Kevin, yeah, this one, you know, you know, when Junior Gallette says you're such Kevin an is idiot, not impressed, man. <laughs> when, when Junior Gallette says you're such an idiot, I'm talking about Mariah Mills here. He's, when he says Zion, you're such an idiot. Don't do that. I already did that, and it was a terrible idea. When Junior Gallette tells you that, you're it's really bad. making a big it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Making it's like mistakes. Me, it's like me telling you you mispronounced the name. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that, yeah. So, Kevin, which, I mean. It's like me saying stop being so bougie. <laughs> Andrew <laughs> doesn't know football. Kevin, this is strong. It, Gallette's a strong number one seed. He's strong. This isn't this isn't a contest. One yeah, guy, no, I mean, this is on, not look, a contest. Look, he made one play where he did something where he lined up stupid and he got and he got hit by a golf cart driven by a mascot. I, I'm trying to figure out if he actually won the lawsuit or got any sort of settlement money from the Titans because of it, and I can't find out. I think but he did get winner, a settlement. The the winner here is Junior Gallat. I, I do want to see if Thomas can find there's a picture out there of Adrian McPherson lined up under left guard. Yeah. And the run, the running back behind him is pointing at the center. And it's just, it's an amazing saints picture. Amazing. I mean, of all the saints pictures of all time, like you want to talk about a stupid moment in saints history. It just, mm. 
it, it's incredible. So if you can find that picture of McPherson Thomas, post I it think I have it. It's or... super low quality, but let me. Well, uh... You know what? Also, and it's fine that we don't have it this week because we'll be talking about Junior Gallet again. Uh, we should get the picture that I put together from Canal the Street. Yeah, we yes. gotta we gotta get that. We gotta out go to the rounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the one, Andrew? That's the one. That's the one. That's, that's it. Andrew. So that's... it's right guard. I'm sorry. It's right guard. Right that's the sa- Kevin, that's the saintiest image that ever saints. He's almost behind right tackle. He is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I lo- who is that? That's Who's the running back there, the fullback? That's like, no, no, you need to be over here. I, I think know. it was in the preseason, so it's, I don't think it's a guy that made the team. Yeah. But it's hilarious because it almost looks like a trick play. You know, it, it almost does. looks like it's, yes. he's lying behind the wrong guy and they're going to direct snap it to the running back. But no, or no, it it's looks like, like Notre Dame from 1937. They're running the, the wing T or whatever. Yeah. So, Kevin, before you vote, <laughs> I already voted. Oh, you already voted. You said I picked, no time. I picked Gallette. I mean, nobody's said, picking Adrian Pearson, for right? debate. I mean, Junior. Is Junior it, Gallette voting. Done. Is, 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 he, is he worthy of the number one seed is all I'm asking. Since it's, I, I guess know. it's going to be. I got, you know, I had no involvement in pick, picking the people. Yeah. I had no involvement. Normally, I'm the one that does it does all. Does the work, myself. yeah. So the, the huge committee, uh, usually I, does I'm it. actually, I haven't looked at this bracket at all. Ralph hasn't told me anything. So I guess we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Galette, I feel like for dumb as saying it, it, he is a strong number one seed, but as this bracket goes along, we have some incredibly strong ones. And I feel like maybe I should have extended the committee because uh, Butterich's dad, Alan helped me so much. I think he should have been like co-chairman with me because he knows the 60s, 70s, and early 80s Saints. They just, they were overflowing uh, with the dumb. And by the way, I I think what might have been more unique about the 60s and 70s would be to pick smart Saints. (laughs) Smart Saints. Because then you'd have a smaller bracket. (sighs) Dumb Saints decisions in the 70s, whenever the Baltimore Colts called picking up the phone. Like they just got screwed over time and time again. Jason Champagne says Randy Mueller getting fired. That was eh, that was a, maybe a, we could have put we could have put we could have had a, we could have had a, a a non-living person. We could have had Tom Benson in the bracket. But uh, since it's a four zero sweep, Thomas, let's make it official. Junior Gallette's the winner, and the winner is Junior Gallette. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, then find us wherever you get your podcast, and finally go to saintshappyhour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.